Hi guys, welcome to Live, Laugh, Learn. This is Lynn and boy have I got a video for you today. Alright, so today we're going to discuss um, if you are trying to manifest and you can't visualise or um, can't come up with an, imagine, an, an imaginary scene as you're going to sleep and the Neville got a technique of state akin to sleep. Now, basically, um, sometimes it's really hard to come up with a visualisation that you can do over and over and over and over again. Because the Neville Goddard technique is um, really you're supposed to come up with a scene that is only 10 to 15 seconds long. You really don't want it to be much longer than that because the whole aim of it is to be able to repeat it over and over and over as you're falling asleep so that um, a seed is implanted into your subconscious mind. So with that, um, I have three different scenarios that I'm going to give you um, which hopefully will make it a lot easier for you to be able to manifest what your heart desires okay now I'll use some examples um, so, so basically you know um, when you're trying to manifest a specific person we'll just use that as an example number one your mind will quite often try and um, put in different sort of uh, steps um, into your visualization it'll try and forecast the series of events that are going to happen and you'll find it really hard to keep on sticking to a story without your mind racing off and trying to add in other things. Now you don't want your mind to do that. It needs to be an actual 10 to 15 second story that goes repeated over and over and over before you're falling asleep. All right, that's what we need. So sometimes it's really hard for people to do. So what I suggest and what I found works really well and is quite easy to do is to actually craft a scene that maybe doesn't involve the specific person at all as such. So with what I'm, what I'm getting at is use the congratulatory um, type scene where um, it's easy for your subconscious mind to accept. It's easy for you to re repeat a short snippet over and over and over without your mind trying to put in, um, trying to interject different things or pathways as to how that may come about, all right? So with that, like, you could um, have a 10-second scene where a friend, um, you're, at, you're at a hotel with some friends. Your friend says to you, I'm so happy and excited for you and your special person or soulmate for reaching your 10th wedding anniversary. And, and you have that feeling of, oh my God, yeah, I'm so amazed too. It's so great. Our life is so good together. Like you've actually got to feel all that as well. But that's easy for your mind to grab hold of because it's a scene that's living in the end so it's it's after the fact so it's after the fact you're with your specific person it's a scene that's living in the end it's not a one-on-one -on -one with your specific person trying to work something out it's a friend of yours or a re relative just congratulating you on your anniversary very easy to repeat over and over and over as you're falling asleep all right so that's one number two is if you're trying to manifest money or a big win um, like a lot of people are trying to manifest big wins or, or lots of money coming to them in some way um, if uh, if that's the case then I suggest probably the easiest 10 to 15 second scenario to do would be a congratulatory phone call either from um, an, an employer or from uh, the lotteries commission or from wherever you think you're going to get the money from, whether it be a, a lawyer, it could, could be left to you from a family trust, um, it could be through, like I said, Lotteries Commission, it could be a phone call from the Lotteries Commission telling you you've won X million of dollars. So you can, it's very easy to craft a 10 second scene from someone you don't know, who's on the other end of a telephone, you can imagine yourself on the telephone receiving the call you can, and you can put feeling into it so you can imagine how you're going to feel. You can imagine how amazing that's going to be and you can, you can just totally feel it, all right? 
and that's 10 seconds, you do that over and over and over as you're falling asleep. It's very easy for your mind to accept that you would receive a phone call like that, letting you know that you've won that sort of money and that you would act that way. So it's not gonna try and um, put in extra bits into your scenario, all right? So with that, again, no more than 10 seconds, over and over and over as you're falling asleep, plants a seed in the subconscious mind, a series of event events will unfold, all right? The next scenario is one where you can use um, a sibling. So quite often um, it's easier to use a sibling or a parent uh, as being the person you're talking to in regards to a specific person or in regards to um, money or job or, or it could be an employer, uh, something like that. It's easier to um, talk to a third party like that in regards to them telling you the news that you, you want to hear. So it could be your boss saying to you that you've got that raise. Um, it's quite easy to accept that. You know, you did so well at the interview. Um, you've got the job. That's, that's a pretty easy sort of thing to visualize. Um, or it could be something totally off the wall. Could be, uh, like I said, you could use the phone call technique with that one as well. So you can use either a congratulatory scene in regards to a friend telling you or a relative telling you. You can use the phone call technique, which is another way of doing a visualization before going to sleep. Or you can use um, just basically anyone contacting you over the phone, all right? Keep it short. Like I said, it has to be 10 to 15 seconds, even if you have to write it out first on how you're going to do it so that you can really get what you're going to do before you're going to sleep because you need to be able to run that through your mind several times before you're going to sleep. Now, it needs to be at the time, um, Neville Goddard says it needs to be 15 minutes before sleep. So it needs to be running over and over in your mind for 15 minutes before you're going to sleep. So um, you know, it's going to go through your mind heaps of times, so it needs to be such a small snippet and it needs to be believable, alright? Your subconscious mind needs to believe it. It needs to believe that it's already happened, that it's already done and that you're living in the end, alright? You need to put in every ounce of feeling, every ounce of emotion that you have, that you would know you would be feeling once you had what you desired, okay? And when you wake up the next day, you don't have to do it again during the day, but you can, if it's just a little snippet one, it's very easy to do it again, um, you know, on the way to work, uh, on the train.